Assalamu alaikum everyone. Yes, I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be taste testing a new Samyang ramen flavor. What is the new Samyang ramen flavor for today? It is the hot chicken Korean black bean sauce Samyang ramen flavor. Okay, I'm going to show you everything up close, the front, the back, everything. So let's get to the kitchen and cook this up. Follow me. So everyone, we're here in the kitchen with this hot chicken flavor ramen. This is the Korean black bean sauce. It is halal certified, so it's safe to eat for everyone. And here you will see, I will show you the back of the packaging. So how to cook. Put the noodles and flakes into 600 ml of boiling water and cook for 5 minutes. Please remove water from noodles. Remain 8 spoons of water and put liquid sauce into noodles. Stir fry 30 seconds. Stir well and serve. Okay. So now I will open this and we'll see what exactly is in this. Oh, the nails. Okay, so I have opened the noodle packet. Here we have the noodle. Ooh, this is really big. Here we have the noodle cake or noodle block. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted to clear something up. This is a noodle cake or block. I feel like if it's a rectangle, it should be a noodle block. If it's circular noodles, then it should be a ramen noodle cake. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, okay? So here we have the noodle block. The noodles are made with the following ingredients. Wheat flour, modified tapioca starch, refined palm oil, wheat gluten, refined salt, glycerin, soybean oil, thickener, guar gum, purified water, acidity regulator, potassium carbonate, anhydrous, sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, dibasic, citric acid, Emulsifier, lecithin, green tea flavor oil. Okay. No, stragglers. Now I will show you the packets. The packets are, we have the noodle soup. Now this is your typical liquid soup base. Okay. I don't know how to say that. Is it jajang? Jajang? I don't want to offend anyone, please. And here we have the flakes. Now, the flakes are really, really similar to the packaging, which is really cute, I like that. And then we have the traditional packaging here, okay? Now, I'm going to show you everything up close also when I'm putting everything in, okay? And here we have the stragglers. Look how much stragglers are left behind. These stragglers are, are going to start a revolution. So, here I have the pot of water, not boiling. Let me turn that on. Okay, that's gonna boil. I have the frying pan ready where we're gonna stir fry the noodles. And then I also have here the draining station. It is just a strainer and a bowl. We should have water, by the way. I will just do that in the sink. Okay, we just drain that. We'll do that later. So let this come to a boil and then we're going to put everything in, okay? Water has come to a boil. I'm going to add the noodle block. And the strikers. I'm going to cook that for five minutes. See you in five minutes. So I'm gonna open the flakes for you. Ooh, what do we have? We have dried carrot right there. See, we have dried cabbage, frozen dried green peas, 
a generous amount, I might say. Dried onion, textured vegetable protein. What is this textured vegetable protein? I have no idea. I just hope it's safe to eat. Okay, there I showed you. Now let me show you the hot liquid soup. So here we have the hot liquid soup. I think it's gonna be the same um, red color that is usually there. Now the soup base consists of water, black bean paste, white sugar, artificial chicken flavor, onion, soy sauce, soybean oil, whole milk powder, mozzarella cheese powder, chili pepper powder, red pepper powder, milk powder, modified potato starch, caramel color, yeast powder, garlic, butter powder, salt, texturized soy protein powder, decolorized chili extract, non-dairy creamer, paprika extract, corn syrup flavor, enhancer, disodium ribonucleotide, black pepper powder, acidity regulator, potassium carbonate, sodium carbonate, sodium phosphate, sodium pyrophosphate. What? You can see like a bit of red and orange going through. Very beautiful lava color. Okay, so I showed you both of these. And if you want to see it together, flakes and sauce. So I have a spatula which is also the same color as the noodles. Uh-oh, what's that? Okay, time's up. Let's stop. Okay, as you can see, it's cooked. There, it's cooked. Very, very thick noodles. I'm going to drain this. Let's go to our draining station. Let's drain that. with very cold water and here is the drained liquid elixir of the ramen and here we have a frying pan let's turn that on now we're going to add our eight spoons of water from the noodle one two three four five six seven eight Nine. Ah. Okay, that's on on low flame. Now we're gonna add I'm gonna add the dehydrated vegetable flakes. And the sauce. Please use a spatula so you can get every bit of that delicious sauce. That is thick, like a paste. That's not even liquid. <gasps> That's not even liquid. It literally looks like black mainly. Okay. Okay, stir fry for 30 seconds. Those peas are gonna be hard. I like to bring this to a boil and then add the noodles. The noodles are drained. Just don't let it stick. Okay. Here I have the drained and rinsed noodles. I love noodles this way. I do not like it like that. Okay, in they go. Quick 30 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's it. Oof. Yeah, you know what? The sauce is not really that red. Hmm. It's the color of the black beans. I just hope, I don't know like how it's gonna taste. 
Okay, this is ready. Now let's go and plate. Mmm, that looks so good. Always use a spatula. You can always get every bit of sauce from the frying pan and onto the plate and every bit of sauce in your tummy. Okay, so here we have the black bean, Korean black bean sauce ramen. Hot chicken ramen. It smells very black beany. I, I don't like how to show you. Like, can you see that? Yeah, like that's that's how it looks like. Okay. So let's taste. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mmm, how is that? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. That's a black bean. Oh, do you see that? Okay. I don't know if you can see that. That's a black bean. Oof, it's hot. The black bean has a very, um, I don't know like how to describe the taste of this ramen, especially this flavor ramen. I'm sorry the lighting is going all over the place. Now this ramen has a very earthy taste, I would say that. Very earthy, nutty taste because of the black bean. Mm. Okay, <laughs> as with every hot chicken flavor ramen, you kind of forget the spiciness, but then when you eat it again, ah! Uh, you're like, why am I torturing myself? But you know what? It's not as spicy as the black ramen one and the red one. It's not, that, it's not as spicy. And the black beans are really giving you a very good texture along with the chewiness and thickness of the noodle itself. Good combo. Mmm. See? a lot of black beans. It's a good ratio of black beans to noodles. They're like coming out. Like they're camouflaged. Ooh. Oh my god, this is spicy. My tongue is already hurting. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, you guys want more? Why just say so? Here you go. Mmm. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Oof. I would say this is actually really tasty. I mean, I did not like the orange noodles. I don't know why. The original flavors, oh, by the way, I did do the original flavor um, ramen. If you haven't watched that video, you can watch it right here on this eye icon. I just did not really enjoy the flavor. I just don't know. Um, it felt very bland, but this one, mm. I'm actually liking this one. It's a good flavor. 
so it's a new flavor i mean especially with black bean i've never tasted black bean uh ramen so this is a good flavor to taste mm. so everyone i'm gonna end my video right here inshallah i'll see you next time with another ramen flavor i wonder which one's gonna be stay tuned for that so everyone if you really enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to like subscribe press that bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that i might post Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Allah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.